Hey gamers, today we're going to review Bejeweled, the board game. Let's check it out. Set up the game is very easy. You're going to have your little colored chits out here on the uh, table. You're going to randomly distribute out all these little crystals. Uh, it says from this bag here, this is a cheap little paper bag they, they give you with the game. I got this cloth bag to fit everything in there. And uh, then you'll randomly put them out. Of course, you don't want three in a row. If you do, you'll just mix it up. And it'll look somewhat like this. Now, the only thing you will not put out on the first round are any of these that have the little sparkles in them. If you see, this one has a little sparkle in it. There are some other ones here here and here that also have sparklers. Usually you would put those back in the bag and draw plain ones to begin with, but I'm putting the sparkly ones in there to tell you what they do. Now on a player's turn, what they're going to do is they're just going to switch out and exchange two of the jewels and hopefully make a match of three or more. So for instance, if I was playing, I could switch out this purple with this red and make a match. Now I would take all of these, push the, push all these down and then grab a red coin since that was a red jewel I made. But the best move I think would be if I exchange this white and this blue because if you see what I do there I would get a white and a blue. So what I do is I one, two, three, take those out. One, two, three, take those out. And then I push everything down which are only these two. Now if this would have made another match, let's say if that purple would have been there and I pushed this one in between these two purples, I would have gotten another coin because whenever you push and you make another set, you can get another coin. Now, every time you make a th set of three in a row, you get one coin, four in a row, two coin, uh, amazingly five in a row, three coin, and whenever one of those matches have one of the sparkly jewels in it, you will get a plus one. So for instance, a three in a row would get you two green coins and so on and so forth. Now, what you'll do after that is you'll refill the bag of jewels out of, out of this bag here, and then the next player will go. And you'll just keep going like that until, and of course you don't want that to come out. And by the way, during uh, when you're restocking, if one of the jewels comes out like that green did, and it matches with this one, you'll just move it over a little bit. There'll be matches everywhere. No, there's another sparkle. Alright, so then the next player would go, and let's say the next player sit on this side. If they press this, not only would they get a red, but they would push the jewels away from them so they push them down that way and of course as you see he made another set there so he would get one green and then he'd fill them all up the next player would play from here push from there next player would play from here and push from there what you're trying to do is be the first person to get three sets of three different color coins once you get three sets of three you win the game Final thoughts, what do I think about the game? Well, you know what? Back in the day, I never played the app. I knew what it was about, you know, matching gems, crossing it. I think Candy Crush and a bunch of other games are just like this. And uh, I was just kind of shopping around eBay and I saw this. I was like, they made a board game? Now, to be honest, they made like three different board games. Most of them deal with tiles or cards. This one dealt with plastic jewels. And this is the one I wanted because it looked the most interesting and the, and the best, in my opinion. Now, I haven't played the other two, so I don't know. Those could be much better, but I like the jewels. Anyway, it's a very simple game, easy to understand, but there is some skill involved where you're trying to find the best match to push forward and maybe get doubles and you know just keep getting more and more coins. And of course, the more colors you have, the more options you have. Sometimes you're just looking for, you'll, you'll get someone else's color because you don't want them to get the third one even though you don't need that color. A lot more strategy in here than I thought. Now, um, I really do enjoy this game. Uh, you can get it for super cheap, super cheap online. So is it worth your time? Well, if you've played Bejeweled, yes, I think it's worth your time. If you don't play Bejeweled, it's actually a good game. Actually, for families and my gaming group even likes it. And my nephews even like it. So this is a win all around for me, staying in my collection. All right, gamers, that's all the time I have for now. Until next time, you know what to do. Game on.